I'll never forget that morning. I had already missed the school bus, but I stood there anyway, watching and envying the birds. Okay, all right. Whoops, did you get that? Oh. Hello, YouTube, and welcome to a one-off we are going to be going through today called Home is Where One Starts. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. I am your host, the Cool Jalapeno, and we are going to go ahead and run right through this. Now, this game was on my Steam wishlist for a long, long time. I remember that because this game came out in 2015, May 12th, 2015, to be um, exact over there and I had it on my wish list since pretty much when it came out and I was just kind of watching it and keeping an eye on it and then sales went around and I picked it up and I've had it for a long time but I just haven't found a place to put it on the channel and I figured right now since uh we just finished up Bad Kitcher, we have some open space now I was initially going to start another series on the channel. This series was going to be pretty long. It was going to be about eight, eight and a half hours total, I believe. So it was going to be a long running series on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But I decided, you know, we've had a lot of series back to back to back and we haven't really had a break from them. It's been like the same, same video, same game every week. So I figured maybe I'll throw in a couple one offs. So that's what's going to happen for now. We'll start up that other game some other time. But this is home is where one starts. Now the plot of this game is you play a girl uh, from a, a broken home. Uh, and you start going through her memories, reliving her childhood somewhere in uh, the south, south place of America. So it, it's supposed to be an emotional um, exploration game. I love walking sims. I really do. And I love stories. We play a lot of these, but this one looked pretty dang good. So the developer of this game is called, start my stopwatch, is called, the developer of this game is called, his name is David We Wehley. W-E-H-L-E. -E. I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I got into contact with him. He was fantastic. He replied really fast and he said, yeah, go ahead and play my game. So I'm going to do that. You can get this game for about $2.99 to about three US dollars on Steam. There will be a link to the main website of the game to wherever you can find David down below and also a link to the Steam store page. So please check those links out, guys, if you're going. This game is only about 25 minutes. So if you want to just buy it real quick, it's real cheap. Play through it yourself before watching this video. I really, really recommend that. I would love to make this game have more attention and get more... Uh, uh, PR stuff before uh, you watch me play through it. So that is all I had to say about that. I've wasted three minutes. Let's go ahead and come right into it. Hopefully you saw that little tidbit at the beginning. She said something along the lines of, I had already missed the bus, but I stood there waiting, staring at the birds and envying them or something along those lines. And now we are going to go ahead and do this magical journey. So, oh, mouse sensitivity. All right, okay. Well, I've missed the bus. Can I look in the mailbox? Oh. Why the hell did I click out of the game? That was strange, okay, what is that? Ooh, okay. Mr. James Northern, 100 Copperline Road, Bumpus, uh... Virginia? <laughs> Can I open it? Oh, social services. Oh my. That could be bad. Alright. Ah, the classic zoom feature? Okay. Let's go check out this backpack. Elephant backpack. Can I go inside of it? Very cool backpack, though. It's over here. A tree? Alright. Well, then we're gonna go ahead and go this way. I'll turn this down a little bit, because I, I realize that you guys can hear the headphones. My headphone volume sometimes, so. Oh no. Past due. Oh no, they're not paying their bills. 
Oh gosh, there's trash everywhere. Broken down cars. For some reason there's a fridge. Oh no. This is gonna be mega sad. A toilet. Well, good thing they have an extra just in case. All right, I suppose we go look in the house. This kind of reminds me of like Slender, like a better graphics Slender. <laughs> and I don't need to relive that part of my childhood. Okay. Maybe we'll go around the house, take a look-see around there before we uh, go in the front. Oh wait, what's that? It appears to be some kind of mower. What is this? It appears to be some kind of shed. Thank you, Lauren. This is pretty. Oh my. Locked, huh? Do I have an inventory? Oh shit. Oh! <sighs> Alright, I is to invert the mouse. We don't want that. No, no, no. Well. I suppose I'll just head on out this way. Go inside the house here, take a look-see at what's going on. Pretty sure VA is Virginia. Pretty sure. Jack Steer. Bears, maybe? Oh. Mom? I wish I could forget that smell. The smell of alcohol mixed with mold. I hated okay. that trailer, even when my father was away at work. Okay, I turned them- it says they're on, but I don't know. Hello! Alcohol and mold, huh? So is it just you and your father, or is it- Is there a rest of the family involved here? Appears like there's more beers on the shelves. Maybe a pack of smokes right here. Smoking seriously harms you and others around you, yep. I know that. Got a TV, though, and a VCR. Oh my god, there's trash everywhere. This is pretty music. Ah. Is that wine? Past due. Another one. Yep, there's wine bottles, empty smokes. Wow. This is not good. Nope. I would say this is not good. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a back door. Oh, what's that? Hi! Oh, the water heater! We have- we have one of those, of course. I mean, we have it in a closet. Like, just a random closet. Oh! Washing and dryer, very good! Hello? Father? The... Ah, that's right in the way. The something parts of fortune. I can't read that word for some reason. Private? I can't read that word. Okay, I don't know why. Alright, like a self-help book or... Boots. Not made bed and a deer head. Very good. Hello? Ah, no. Ah, no. Oh, no. That's gonna be so hard to clean. You're gonna need more than Comet to clean that one, bud. What's this? Ah, what a great closet you have. Oh, milk! There's just a milk carton in there? Oh, that's gotta smell bad. That's gotta be bad. I'm leaving. Later. <gasps> Oh, that coat! That fucking coat scared the living daylights out of my body. Wow. Oh, a rubber ducky! Can I have it? Ah, rubber ducky. Ah. Man. At least you have rubber duckies, right? Hello. A fan. Oh! This looks pretty. That's a pretty little music box. What 
What is this situation? Confidential. Uh oh. What is that? I can't really see. It's kind of dark. That's okay. It's for atmospheric purposes and such. Hello. Printer. Some kind of part that should be in the printer. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You know, I get mad at printers too. Is this your room? <gasps> Hi, cutie. R.N. Rachel. I had an obsession with space. I thought I'd be the first astronomer to discover a planet beyond Pluto. I also <laughs> thought birds could fly anywhere, even to outer space. To be a bird and to fly to other planets, I couldn't imagine a more perfect life. Ah, uh, just a little girl wanting to get out of a crappy life. Electronics do's and don'ts. Oh my god. <laughs> She's trying to build a rocket ship or something. The moon, Saturn, Jupiter. Ooh. Uh, backward, but I cannot perceive him on the left hand where the where he doth work, but I cannot behold him. He hideth himself on the right hand that I cannot see him, for he knoweth the way that I take when he hath tried me. I shall come forth as gold. Is this the Bible? Job. Okay, it's the Bible. Alright. <gasps> Is that a Nintendo game, man? Oh man, you play some Mario you play some Mario Supersonic Brothers on there? Alright. Hello, closet. Planet Earth. I hope her father didn't take that down. Oh man, wanting to go to space just to get away. That's sad. It's a sad situation. Alright, should we try to go out the back door? Oh, a swing set. I didn't see that before. This is a pretty soundtrack. It reminds me of Life is Strange. Milk. Something. Oh, a little origami burb. Hmm. Alright, where should I go? I've already been to the broken cars. I went in the house. Now where do I go? Into the forest? wonder how far I can walk. Oh, there's I had walked around the woods a million times by myself, but it felt different that morning. I thought about how ancient those giant trees were, and how they were probably the same size when I was born. It seemed so long ago when I was a baby. That morning was the first time in my life I realized that I was growing up. Huh. Well, I feel pretty short. I gotta say, where my can where the camera is, it makes me feel like a child. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be a grown adult or I'm still a babby. My camera is behind. So behind right now. Alright, well. Nothing to do about it. I'll just have to sync it up in post. I keep complaining about it and you guys are never gonna see the camera being behind because I'm gonna do my darndest to sync it up right. Once it starts not syncing with the game, that's when we have a problem. Alright, I'm gonna keep following this path. Heading through the forest. You know, when I was a kid, uh, we lived in the middle of nowhere on my grandpa's property in a trailer. And, um, just so much like this kind of life. A lot of aspects of this kind of life. And, uh, my brother and I, we would just go into the woods every day. Just go into the woods. We would go through blackberries, through stinging nettle, we'd cut things down with big long knives we had. We would just go and we'd venture. We'd be out there all day. No one worried. No one cared. Doesn't happen anymore. Doesn't happen anymore. We got in a few tangos with the mountain lions too. Uh oh, this is a cemetery. I almost never went into that old cemetery. But that morning I did. I guess I wanted to feel something. Even if it was only fear. I was terrified because of a vivid memory. I remember I'd lost something important, and I realized it was near that graveyard. I gathered up all my courage, 
imagine how Princess Leia would act. <laughs> right as I stepped into the gates, I heard a ghost screaming at me. I ran as fast as I could, and I never looked back. <laughs> oh, the things we children imagine. Maybe I can find the lost thing, eh? Hmm. I don't know, I don't believe in that kind of stuff, but I also... I also believe in respecting uh, those who have passed, and respecting others' thoughts on the subject of ghosts and the whatnot. Do you believe it? Go ahead, believe it, my man. Believe it with all your heart, but, uh... I'm, I'm that way with anything, really. Once you start, um, forcing your opinion on me to try and change mine, that's when, uh, that's when it gets ugly. Oh, is this what I lost? My ball? Well, I guess I don't need it now. I'm a grown adult. Well, suppose I will go back to the front of the house and see what's going on. We don't have a graveyard, you know? A lot of games have, like, family graveyards or graveyards that aren't far away. Even though we did live really far out, uh, there was nothing like that. We'd have to... The nearest graveyard was, like, in the next couple towns over. I lived really far away. That, that's something a lot of people don't know, you know? Because I don't really talk about my past too much, and I would like to. I would like to open up and tell a lot of stories, because I got a couple of them. I got a lot. Um, but when I grew up, we were living on my grandparents' property for a long time because we couldn't afford anywhere else. We were living in a mobile home, and um, it was in pretty much the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like, we had to drive a good hour and a half to get to the nearest grocery store. Uh, it was It was pretty hard. Oh, and the bus ride to school. Don't even tell me. Oh, I had to get up so early just to get to school. I had to get so many boundary exceptions to be allowed to go to school, too, but... My parents made it happen. I give them a lot of, a lot of flack, but they made it happen. Through everything, they made it happen. I want to get into that shed. How do I get in there? Was the key in the house? Did I miss it? Maybe I missed it. Is the sun going down, or is that just me? I want to be in the shed. Ah! Alright, maybe I have to look in the house again? Can I cross the road? Maybe there's a wall. Let's see. Both ways. Nice! The sound effects in this game are solid. They're pretty dang solid. That pond was pure bliss growing up. I can't remember if I had a fishing pole or not, but there definitely wasn't any fish. I didn't need to catch anything anyway. I once spent an entire Saturday afternoon trying to climb on top of one of those hay bales just so I could take a nap in the sun. When I finally did it, I was too happy to fall asleep. <laughs> oh, what's over there? Oh, there's another building. Oh, there's so much I haven't explored! Birds, please! So, did you become an astronaut? I mean, I guess that'd be kind of hard to do now, considering... Oh, base bail! Good old base bail. Never got into it. I played basketball. Uh, I was on a basketball team for a couple years. Didn't get too good at it, and then I got, uh... Once I got into high school, I kind of fell out of sports because... It was a dramatic change from middle school to high school, believe it or not. And I couldn't really handle the workload and sports. And then I got in the car accident anyways, so... My back was all fucked up. Couldn't play sports much after that. Couldn't play the sports ball. Oh, that's the wall. Oh, there's bushes I can't... Okay. Can I get to that building over there? Can I do it? I'm gonna try. You know what? There's no figuring it out until we try. Oh, there's a wall. I don't know if I can get over there. Maybe I have to go down the road? Let's see. Is there a wall going this way too? Hang on. Let's go to the road. See if I can walk down it. Wait! There's some over there! Holy moly! What is that? 
What is that? It's like a big old pillar? Column? I don't know. Oh, it's a chimney! Oh no! It's a chimney! Did somebody's house burn down? You have nothing to say about this? Gosh dang. What about the well? Eh? You ever do anything creepy? Like, look down the well and think that you're gonna fall in? Ugh. Spooky scary. Can I get in here? Oh, it's open. It's funny that in a decrepit grave of a house, I found something beautiful a stranger had left a long time ago. I would stare at it for ages after a bad day. I've tried over and over to draw it how I remember, but it's not the same. One day I'll find that stranger, and I'll say thank you. Whoa. Oh, graffiti, huh? Pain. After walking around, I started to think. I started to feel brave. My father had hidden a key in his room, so I went to go get it. Oh, hells, yes I did. Yes, I went to go get it. I want to explore. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to try and go to that house over there, so I'm going to shut up and try and get to it and then cut back when I figure out if I can. Ah. Okay, so it was a no-go on that wall. Or that house. I ran into a wall. But we're gonna go back and do the trailer, which the house I grew up in didn't look too much different than this. It was yellow with a green roof but uh, and a green front door. But it was much smaller than this. It wasn't as long. It's pretty, pretty crowded in there until we broke down a wall and made the living room twice as big. Anyways. Hello? What the hell is that? Hello? What the hell is happening? What is that? Oh, oh! Ah! Oh, it was the key screaming! It was saying, come and open the secret shed that holds your father's body because she probably murdered him! No, but seriously, what is in this shed that she doesn't want to go towards? Or something that she had to build courage to go into, like what, what could be in here? I gotta know. Unlock. What? It's a bicycle, and a chainsaw, and various other saws, and drinking, and a stick, and a window. Bicycle. Oh, we're gonna get on the bike! <gasps> yeah! Woo! Woo! Hell yeah! Get in the house with the bike! Oh god! Where are we going? At that moment, all the invisible walls in my life disappeared. Oh. What I would give to ride that bike one more time. We are riding the bike. We. Huh? No! Did he lock up her bike in the shed? Oh, that's interesting.
Thank you, Thomas and Matthew, Jonathan, Matthew, and Sherry, Mark, and Shannon. <laughs> oh, the game closed itself. Okay, I will insert funny meme here. But that was Home is Where One Starts. That was interesting. Okay, I missed a lot of stuff. I missed a lot of stuff. There are a lot of achievements that are locked. A lot of them are pretty interesting, ti interestingly titled. It looks like this game has a lot more to offer, a lot more uh, things you can pick up, voice lines that can be said that I just didn't find. And I feel really bad that I didn't find most of those things. But I don't have time. I don't have time to go back into it. I'm so sorry. I feel like I still got some stuff, right? I explored. I just didn't find the secret objects. I'm sorry about that, but all the more reason for you guys to check this game out and buy it for yourselves. It is really, really reasonably priced. $2.99 for a good length game for $2.99. Uh, US dollars, that is. So please check it out. But here we're going to do a review. So, home is where one starts. Its background is... You are a girl who's going back to her childhood home to walk around, look inside, look around. Or maybe you are a grown woman? Let me check to make sure. No! You are the little girl. You are a little girl walking through your childhood home while the older you narrates what's going on. So, it's a broken home. Obviously it is. Um, throughout the story you learn more that your father was an alcoholic a heavy smoker, he wasn't taking care of you, assuming he wasn't taking care of you, he wasn't taking care of the house, there was no power, most likely because of all the bills that were being missed. Um, it, 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 the house and living in the house and the life at home had gotten to the point where this little girl didn't want to be there anymore. She wanted to be somewhere else, she wanted to fly away, she wanted to leave, and she couldn't. Her dad locked her bike up and she said, what I wouldn't give to ride that bike just one more time. So... That is kind of the story here. Um, you basically just walk around and she narrates on stuff that um, you pick up and it gives you little tidbits. So, here we go. Uh, graphics for this game, they're not the best. I will admit they are not the best graphics, um, but graphics aren't everything in a game. They really aren't. I have played games that are completely polygonal. Um, just flat surfaces and one color and they've been fantastic. They've blown my mind. I've played games in pixel style that are better than games that are in um, Unreal 4. Like, there are graphics don't really matter. They don't matter to me, at least. I've gotten kind of past that. But still, it was pleasing to look at. You could tell the uh, what the objects were. And also, I have to mention this in the graphics because... I found it really nice and very interesting. At first, it was hard to see, but then you see that it's sunset. The sun is going down and it's casting shadows and the light is orange instead of, you know, the blinding sun and everything is kind of calming down. I think that could have been contributing to the game's theme of kind of going and going through everything at the end of a day. And I think that actually helped it. I really do. It might have been really subtle and I might be looking into it too much, but... I enjoyed the setting and the graphics and everything like that. Controls, um, they're a little weird because just because in indie games, sometimes they don't have like extensive lists of options for you to change volume or mouse sensitivity, shit like that. But it was nothing uh, crazy. There wasn't anything bad about them. Uh, very standard. Um, so no complaints there. The audio, I actually really liked the audio. The background track when you're just walking around and picking stuff up, that was actually really pleasing to listen to. It was nice and it was calm. It wasn't too loud. It was just kind of following you. I couldn't pick up on where it looped. I wasn't paying that close attention to it, but it wasn't something that took away from the experience. It did kind of add to it. It made the mood a little bit calmer, but it wasn't something that was bad. The voice acting in this game, pretty good, pretty good. I didn't hit all the lines, apparently, and I feel really bad that I missed a lot of the potential memories and lines that uh, you could have looked through, but uh, from what I heard, it was pretty dang solid. It was fluid, it flowed really nicely, and the voice actor did work and made it sound as natural as she possibly could, so I enjoyed that, no complaints there. Overall, I think this game was pretty dang good. Um, this is something that is kind of, 
I've explained it in another game that is probably not out yet. Um, it is hard to build a world in such a short amount of time. It's hard to build a world in half an hour. It really is. It's hard to build a complete backstory for your character in half an hour. So that's why I think shorter games are often harder to pull off successfully than say 16 hour games. Cause in 16 hour game, you have time to explore a lot more. You have time to learn about the character gradually. You have time to build the world in your mind. But in a half an hour game, the dev has to create the world and place the clues and the memories in a way that makes it so that the player can build the world in such a short amount of time. And I think it did pretty dang well. I might have missed a couple things that would have exposed more of the story. Um, uh, like, for instance, where the mom went. I don't even know if the mom was in the picture, but from what I got, it was clear that the dad was a raging alcoholic. Maybe he had no job because there was so much garbage everywhere and there were bills that weren't being paid. And it was clear that at some point he may have gotten abusive, whether it was verbal or physical. There was physical evidence of him taking something that was hers and locking it up in a shed. And there was also a little bit of a memory that we got where he was screaming at her. So it, it built up this atmosphere of just a trapped little girl in this house and she can't do anything about it. And now she's a grown woman looking back on it and looking back on everything that happened in her childhood. But, I was getting some of that, I think this did pretty dang well. It is one of the best shorter games that I've played. There are probably, there are probably ways that I could have made it more immersive. I could have looked around a lot more carefully. Uh, I didn't know the bike was the end of the game. I, I probably would have looked around a lot more if I would have known that, but I couldn't have and that would have ruined the experience. So. I feel like there's a lot more to this than what is in this video. I feel like if you uh, look at it, you can go ahead and just immediately find things I didn't find because I'm not very smart. <laughs> but another thing I want to mention about this game and kind of all games in general and why I play so many games and why I do this is the subject of this game hits close to home. It's not an exact mirror of what my childhood was like, it's a little far from it, but there are pieces of it that are very, very real to me. Um, the alcoholism is really real. The really small house in the middle of nowhere struggling with money. A lot of it is really part of my story. And that's why I love games like this. That's why I love storytelling immersive games because it gives you the chance to kind of resonate with what's going on. And this game really did hit home a bit for me. So I really enjoyed this. I actually did. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get everything. Uh, I, I would go back through it, but I've been recording for already 35 minutes and I don't know, I kind of want to leave it where I leave it. Um, I'm sorry if that's disappointing to the dev or any of you guys, but all of the links will be down in the description below uh, to the Steam Store page where you can get this game, to David's website, to this game's website, and everything like that. So please check them out. They're all down there. I will put them there. And yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. I really did. Um, oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? There's something. Hello. I once made my own fort in the woods and called it my mansion. I imagined it being this giant house with furniture and a TV. And I even had separate rooms for toys and for tinkering with computers. It was a place where everything was better. It was home. Ah. Oh. And there's a picture of her and her mom, I'm assuming, and the dad is ripped out of the photo. Ah! Damn! I'm just going through and I'm gonna try and find the stuff that I missed. Uh, I'll cut to some things, but I, I don't want to spend too much longer on this, but I, I, I'm, I'm curious. I am really curious. So I'm gonna look around for maybe five more minutes and see if I can find anything else, and uh... This is really weird. I am doing this all backwards. 
Okay, I looked around. I, I hopefully put in what I found. I put one- I, I found one other thing, but I do need to go. I don't have time for this right now. I don't have time for this, so... I found what I found. I put that little tidbit in at the end um, after the review, hopefully. And this episode is a bit long, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna end it here, guys. You've already heard my entire shtick. Thank you so much to David for letting me play through this game. Uh, please, guys, check him out. Every link will be in the description down below, as always. And that is gonna be it for me today. This was a one-off. We will come back with another game um, next week, and, or next day. Okay, we'll come back with another game whenever we're supposed to. Anyways. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a fantastic day and or night out there wherever you are. And please stay safe. Much love to your faces. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.